Hello and welcome back to Key Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Hobby Lobby inspired beaded hoop wreath. So the supplies you're going to need are a 14 inch metal hoop. You're also going to need wooden beads and in this container there are three different sizes of, of beads and so we're going to use all three different sizes. You're also going to need um, some florals. I have some sunflowers and these little pomegranates. I also have leaves too. So we're going to use some of this. You'll also need some glue. This is Aileen's glue, tacky glue. Um, you also can use E6000. But this is what I had on hand, so I'm going to use that. Um, you're also going to need a glue gun, glue sticks. You're going to need um, wire cutters. You're also going to need scissors. Oh, and I also have some ribbon. Okay, and when I come back, I'm going to show you what else I used to cut this metal hoop. So stay tuned, you guys, and when we come back, we'll get started. I actually used a, a, a saw, and I got this saw from Dollar Tree, and this is a 12-inch saw, but they also have a 6-inch, but I went ahead and got this, this size, and it took a little bit of effort, but I it cut it, so... Um, they have these at Dollar Tree. Okay, so also um, on their tutorial, they used another um, metal hoop, a smaller one. So they used two hoops, and but I'm just going to use one. And so all you do is you take your beads, and like I said, there are three different sizes of beads. And so I'm going to... I'm going to use all three different sizes. Sizes. It doesn't tell tell me like what size the beads are. Um, they just tell you the weight, you know, of the container of beads. So I'm just going to use a little pattern that, you know, I just figured to be easy for me. So I'm just going to, what you want to do is just slide the bead on. So I just slide a big bead on there and um, take the next size and slide two of those on there. And then I'm going to take the smaller bead and slide three of those beads on there. And all I'm going to do is continue that pattern around the whole hoop okay so now I have gotten um, all the beads except for one on there and what I'm gonna do is take that last bead and I'm actually gonna put some um, some glue right here and I'm gonna take uh, my hot glue also and put some on it and I'm going to stick it on this end here. Okay. And I'm also going to take my glue and put it here on the other end. And also take the hot glue. Put it around there too. And just... Stick that together. Now you're gonna want to let that dry um, for for a little while, at least an hour or so. Okay, so when I come back, we're gonna start decorating. Okay, so I went ahead and made my little um flower thing that i'm gonna put on the wreath and all i did was 
Um, you're going to need some floral wire, wire. I decided to use some wire to attach it to the wreath. So all I did was um, I actually put all the pieces together with this um, floral wire. And I also hot, used some hot glue to put these leaves on and um, hot glue the sunflower. And so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to place it like right here. So I'm going to take another piece of um, a wire and I'm going to just secure it with this um, this floral wire. So I'm going to take it like this, turn it over in the back, and just tighten it up back there between the beads. And when you turn it back over, you're probably going to have to adjust it a little bit. But then all you do is come back and kind of twist it a little bit tighter so, um, so you can really secure it on there. Okay. Let me turn it over and see if it's where I want it to be. Okay. I'm just going to move it over a little bit. I just tighten it up a little, a little tighter. Okay. Just kind of have to play with it, and so I'm gonna go back and um, cut that wire off um, in a in a minute. But I'm also gonna make a a little bow for. For it. So what you're going to want to do, this is um, two and a half inch ribbon. And so what you're going to do is just, you know, get your little, little tail and you're going to make a, make a loop and then, I want a bigger tail, longer tail, make your loop and then pinch it like so. Just pinch it like this. And so you're going to have to um, twist the ribbon so you can get the pretty side up and then just make another loop. Just like so. And then you're going to pinch it back here. Okay, and so we're going to just let out another t another tail because we're just going to do this small bow right here. And um, we're going to get our scissors and just cut. Cut the tail. Okay, and we're going to take um, another piece of wire. And we're going to just put it around the center here. And just um, just tighten it up in the back. Just twist it really tight, like this. Okay. And so just go back and just kind of straighten up your little bow. So, let me um, twist this a little bit more, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that off because I'm just gonna hot glue. I'm just gonna hot glue this onto onto my little flowers here. Oh, let me cut. Let me do the tails. So we're just gonna take. I'll do one last time. We'll just take our tails here and we'll fold them 
like so in half and then cut it at an angle and it'll give you that and so we're going to do the other side we're going to fold it and then just cut like that okay so we're going to take our glue gun and we're going to put some hot glue right back here and I'm just going to stick it stick it on probably right here and just hold it in place and so what I'm going to do is fix this a little bit and I'm going to hang it up on the door so you all can see it Okay, so here's the wreath completed, and um, I added a few more sunflowers, and um, just make sure that you let the glue dry all the way, because I had a problem with my beads kind of sliding a little bit, so, because I didn't let my glue dry like I should have. So, um, thank you guys for watching my video. If you would please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a blessed day.